Is this anyone's bag? No, that's your bag. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take a peek. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome. It is Renee here from Paper and Moose and today we are going to be going through this $30 mystery bag of jewelry that I purchased at a yard sale. Was it a good buy? Was it a bad buy? Are we going to find any pieces of gold or silver in here? I have no idea, but we're going to find out. People love jewelry, they love wearing their vintage brooches, their vintage necklaces, and it definitely looks like there are some vintage pieces in here. $30, was it worth it? Let's see. Well, let's get. Got a lot of tangles, we even have some watches in here. Start off, we even have some watches. This is a JBK watch. I will try and show some nicer pieces up close. This camera gets a little finicky. Looks like maybe a copper bracelet. There is some greening oxidization on the side. Definitely looks like copper, I would say. Just your regular costume jewelry, some silver, yeah, squares and spheres and circles. Oh, we even have, <laughs> we even have some vintage Christmas in here. This little guy is a spun cotton head, probably a little angel, and it would go into your arrangements. Now I did see this in the bag. It is a pear brooch. There are a bunch of pieces that still have the original tags. This was $3, whatever it's attached to. There's a lot of detangling that will have to go on. Oh, a lot of detangling, oh my goodness. <laughs> a bunch of detangling. We have a lot of these. These are from a store named Kramer. Anti-tarnish silver plate. So it looks like there's a dove. Um, this looks like a beef. These, this is a big, big mess we got ourselves into here. This pin looks like a crown. It's not even a pin. Oh, it's like a clip. So you have that pin with the red, white, and blue. Or actually a military ship perhaps instead to go with the flag. It's unmarked but it's definitely the older kind because it has the back of the pin sticking out. Safety reasons they don't do that anymore. We have this cute little lady. This cute little girl. She's wooden and she's carved. She found her way into a jewelry bag. She's holding some flowers. Some silver plate ball earrings, anti-tarnish, $3.50 originally. Here we have a Mary and Jesus pendant necklace, unmarked on the back. Jesus even finds his way into a jewelry bag, I'm telling you. We have another whole mess of jewelry, another watch. You know, it's, it's some decent costume jewelry. This little clasp here actually looks like it could be 14 karat gold. It just looks like it's kind of well made. We'll have to check that one out a bit. The, net, the chain, I don't, I don't think so, but the little clasp perhaps. If anyone likes to undo jewelry, this is your, this would be your, your thing. There are people that actually love to watch others detangle jewelry. Oh, this one's cute. This is a Valentine 
bracelet. You have little cupids with hearts. And then you also have some heart and other shaped little dangles. That's really adorable. That's definitely older. Here we have a cupid with his horn and the rest are just with hearts and little flowers. That's really cute. That's a great piece right there. This is a statement piece if I ever saw it myself. It looks like it, I was gonna say it might be the Zodiac, but I don't believe so, more like a crest. Uh, a hook, is it for a curtain hook? This is a broken pin. That would be good for crafting. Those that do craft jewelry. Oh, what's this? We even have a coin, found money. This is a coin for the 100 year celebration of Big Rapids Centennial. Good for 25 cents in trade. Big Rapids, Michigan. Redeemed before July 26, 1955. So I think we've kind of lost our chance of redemption here, but. We have some more just regular costume pieces. This is an earring, necklaces. Again, I'll check all these out to make sure that there isn't any gold, but I'm not seeing anything that really resembles or that feels like gold right now. We have another What's this? Random piece of wire. <laughs> and this is a cute necklace. It's another Valentine's Day kind of themed necklace. I'm not gonna be able to get it untangled. But they're hearts, all different colored hearts. This chain is rather thin, which Reminds me of gold, but we'll have to look. We got some big wooden bead pieces, uh, what looks like a Christmas light bulb. <laughs> oh, this is just a field day for sorting and getting untangled. That's a pretty neat necklace. Would be perfect for the holidays. You have little red flower-like pieces. It doesn't look like the chain is marked at all. There was one piece in there here that looked really neat to me. I gotta see if I can find it. I've seen come across these a few times. You have the owl, the articulated owl. Here it is. very delicate it has the same image on the back have you seen that before let me know we have this brooch that had a two dollar price tag on it looks like we have a three a clover we also have a clover not a four leaf clover but just a regular clover Perhaps to bring you some luck. More silver plate earrings. Ooh, look at these. Is the other one in here? I don't think we have a lot of matches for some of the earrings. This one's really fancy. I think these are my favorite earrings in this bunch. This is by a brand called Vendome. And they have like a little cage and the the diamonds and the little red beads. They just have a really neat look to it. Vendome. And it has the original tag. Fancy dangly clip on earrings. Another nice pin. 
another little pin. We have a little, what's that, a butterfly, moth, bee, insect pin, and then a wreath of flowers pin. And last but not least, we even have thimbles. <laughs> silver sterling, nickel, silver sterling thimbles. Well, was the $30 worth it? There definitely is $30 worth of jewelry in here. Am I going to be making, you know, hundreds on this? Definitely not. I figured the odds of there being silver or gold in the slot were slim uh, just because of the way that this sale was set up. They did have a case of jewelry there, so I don't think they were just throwing things in a bag. These could have been items that they had in the case that haven't sold because I also found out that this estate sale wasn't just a once and done estate sale, that they've actually been having this sale for months. That's why they didn't publish the street address because people knew uh, what it was, but oh well. It was still fun to see and while I'm not going to be making thousands on this purchase, I definitely should get my money back. Some nice jewelry pieces and we even got a Cupid bracelet. Well that wraps it up. Should you buy a mystery jewelry bag if you see one at your next yard sale or garage sale? If you like sorting through jewelry, seeing what treasures could be inside, then definitely grab some gloves, a magnifying glass, and have some fun.